Um, it's Jay and Andy from Two Dudes Reviews. And, I'm Andy. Uh, t tonight, uh, which it's our first it's the first cigar I've smoked in all of 2018, believe it or not. Uh, for me as well. And we're uh, we're enjoying something called the uh, Romeo y Julieta Bellicoso. Now, for this, for for those that know, not understand what he says, Romeo and Juliet, yeah. Bellicoso. It's the Romeo and Julieta, <laughs> Romeo y Julieta <laughs> Bellicoso. Uh, this was uh, <coughs> one of the top 25 cigars of uh, the year 2016, according to Cigar Aficionado. Um, they say it's quite good. I was talking to Wally, who was here at the Hardwater House earlier. Uh, Wally told me something interesting. He said that um, there's lithium in the region of soil in Cuba that gives these an interesting flavor and that they're sought after because of the lithium, which just doesn't really? sound right. I, maybe lithium is what he took before <laughs> he sat down and started smoking cigars tonight. Wally was a really cool dude, by the way. He was. I liked him. He was. Um, him and, and his buddy, Mike? Mike, Mike. yes. Okay, yeah. Yes. Those guys were, were cool cats. By the way, we're at the Hard Water House in uh, Reno, Nevada. We'll talk about the Hard Water House as the review continues here. Um, general appearance on this cigar, you know, it's got, uh, uh, as, as my friend Brian Glenn from... Uh, Another YouTube channel would say uh, tight and visible seams. Okay, um, yep. You know the uh, you can see the veins in there. I've got one that's kind of protruding a little bit, but not bad. I don't know about you, Andy. Do you ever do you ever take bets on if it's going to unravel? I know that sometimes <laughs> we find the unravel. Are you I see a little bit of a seam there that I can see unraveling when I get to that point. Okay. One little stem, you know, like uh, the seam of the love the leaf there. Right. But other otherwise looks pretty good. Okay, and just squeezing on this, it's a pretty tight. It's a pretty tight squeeze. It is you, a tight squeeze. You know, squeeze. my experience with a lot of these Bellicosos, with the uh, uh, Upman um, Torpedo, the uh, Monte Cristo number two, has been when they get down to the third third, they get really mushy right. for whatever reason. And I don't know you if think that's just the Torpedo hold up? design, but let's see how this sucker holds up. I'm going to yeah. go ahead and uh, clip mine, and we'll start toasting. I like Absolutely. to do the, uh, the the side clip. The angle clip? The angle clip for... Uh, what, what does that do? I, it just gives me a better mouth feel, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe increases a bit of the surface area to maybe take away some of the... Uh, occasionally, you'll get some of... Uh, I like to call them tannins because I'm a wine fan. But, but I don't think there's tannins in cigars. I, there may be. I don't um, know. You, you might want to ask a cigar <laughs> expert. Some of the we're, not like experts, we're not cigar experts, by the way. We're not cigar experts. We are not cigar experts. I'm going to start um, toasting this. We're, we're cigar fans. And for the first we time like to smoke cigars. forever, Andy actually brought his, uh, his lighter. Way to go, I know. Andy. You know, the cool thing nice, is that, nice job you know, Jave, my homie here, brought his extra one for me. That's right. Because he knows that I rarely bring mine. Oh, yeah. A little tobacco on the tongue. My palate is perfect. It's in totally good shape for this particular it's review. Perfect. Because, well. Because you haven't had a cigar. I haven't had a cigar in like three weeks, which is a long time for me. I like to smoke on this. Man. I really do. Smooth, easy draw. Smooth, easy draw. Copious amounts of smoke. It, yeah. yeah. I mean, really it almost smoky. has... For me, the perfect draw. Now, we've had a lot of cigars where each one of us have got the exact same brand style, same cigar pretty much, uh, mm. but they smoke entirely different, right? One might right. have a plug in it, one's a little tighter, maybe one person cuts a little differently. Um, but I'm thinking that this is like just the perfect draw. Not I'm too tight, it. not too loose. For those of you curious, this is the uh, Whistle Pig 10 year with a spear. Whistle Pig 10 year. I that's what I was just going ooh about, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know that I've had this bourbon before. That's a big vanilla caramel bomb. Yeah. Right? Um, and right off the bat, what are you getting on that thing? Bourbon. <laughs> I just took a big old swig of bourbon, right? And then took a big old draw. So <laughs> let me check and see. You tell us what you think, and then I'll tell you you're full of shit. I appreciate that, Andy. Um, <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a, you know, when you first light up a cigar, you get a little bit of that bitterness. It's really going to overtake the palate. Sure. Um, by and large, this is a relatively smooth open. Very uh, mild. On this particular cigar. 
getting a little bit of hay. Um, not a lot of big, deep, bully over flavors. Certainly none of that pepper that I'm sure this cigar will develop into as we move on through it. It's kind of leathery, kind of earthy. I really like it. Um, and well, you know, because my my palate tends to um, my palate tends to the the milder cigar. I don't like a, a real big overpowering cigar, and this this is not that. This is a very mild as we start out here. Now that's not to say this isn't going to become some big monster bomb, but I don't think right. so. Mm, tastes like lithium. Tastes like lithium. <laughs> Thanks, Wally, for that. By the way, um, if you have yet to check out our podcast, we just launched our podcast. You can find that at podbean.com. You can also check out our website, twodudesreviews.com. That's D-O-O-D-S. D-O-O-D-S. That's right. Um, There's a podcast, and, and that's on Podbean, right? Podbean.com. And that's Two Dudes Reviews. Yeah, just like all of our other branded stuff. It's Everything all Two else. Dudes Reviews Two stuff. Dudes Reviews. Hoping on some exciting stuff in the year 2018. Certainly more cigar reviews. But also something we're going to be doing, um, and, and by the time you see this video, episode number one will uh, be out there. But uh, the two dudes, we can review top five. The we can review top five. Right. Where we just kind of BS about, uh, you know, the big events that happened in the past week. What went on? Yeah. What, what went on? Uh, what, stuff, what's happening? Stuff what are like our opinions on that? <laughs> not that you really care. <laughs> not that um, you care. You might or you might not once you hear our opinions. I don't know. Um, but it should be fun. One thing we did not cover in uh, in the first episode of um, of the top five of the week was what's going on with these Tide Pods? The Tide Pods. Oh, right. I saw the best meme today. It was the sushi one. No, it wasn't the sushi one. <laughs> it was. Uh, it, it shows a picture. It shows a picture of these guys installing. Uh, uh, insulation in <laughs> yes. a wall. These stupid it said, kids. It said, they you stupid kids, candy. they don't realize the wall. their walls are filled with cotton candy. <laughs> that one's great. I love it. Um, I hear, though, that YouTube has removed all of the challenge videos. Um, so they're, they're not promoting idiocy Which in, our, in, our, smart. in our younger generation yeah. to eat soap. You know, when I was a kid, my mom made me bite a bar of zest when I used bad language. Now they're doing it for what? A bar of zest is different than a bleach Clorox pod or a Tide pod. I don't know. I can't say that because I've never had a Tide pod. I wouldn't eat one of those, but I have eaten a bar of <laughs> zest. It was horrible. Back to the review, this okay. uh, Romeo y Julieta. Uh, <laughs> Julieta. It's smoking very nice, almost a razor sharp burn. Look at that right there. Yeah. Uh, here on the first third. And it's always nice when you can find a neighborhood cigar hangout. Oh, my and gosh. Where we live, we've been lacking a great neighborhood cigar hangout for a long time. You certainly have the tobacconist, like the tinderbox. But right. the tinderbox, you're not going to go in and be able to grab a cocktail. This particular place, as you saw in the intro, um, you've not only got uh, humidors for all the members in here where they can also store their own alcohol, which is interesting. That's that's really a great that's idea. Bizarre, isn't it? right? Well, no, don't get me wrong. You rent the locker. And uh, so you pay for the lockers, so what do they care, right? Yeah. But what a great idea. You can have your humidor here. You can store your booze here, your wine here. And they have a phenomenal selection of very fine bourbon, bourbon scotch, scotches, uh, whiskeys, whiskeys. Say like general. Japanese whiskey. We were just remarking here. They've got the hard water uh, house flights. They've got a rye whiskey flight, the animal house, which is pretty much straight up bourbons, the Japanese flight, the smoky selection, and the single malt scotch flight, which Andy loves I hate scotch. scotch. Okay, wait a minute. He thinks scotch I don't sucks. hate. I don't hate scotch. <laughs> you do. Um, no, I don't hate scotch. What I don't like is taking this and eating the end of this, which is what my experience of scotch has been. Right. PD smoky. Smoke upon smoke upon I'm smoke. I'm just not about the whole smoke upon smoke thing. Yeah. So I prefer to go to the vanilla and caramel of this amazing Whistle Pig 10 year bourbon and uh, just enjoy this. This cigar is developing very, very nicely, very slowly. It's a, uh, this is, I'm predicting is gonna be a 45 minute to hour long smoke. And we don't wanna keep you on that long. <laughs> so we're gonna break right now and come back in the second third. In the second third with Two Dudes Reviews. And we're back, because I know how much Jave loves that. To you, it was a microsecond, or maybe there was some blur or some phantom thing. But um, to me, we're back, because we've been right. here for a while. Right. We've been rapping about things. Uh, we've been smoking this cigar, and Jave couldn't wait 
he already tapped his ash, but I did want to show um, this ash is burning very, very well. So about an inch in that. James smokes faster than I do. Um, he sucks harder. So um, thanks. His, I appreciate uh, that. You know, it's true. I, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting commentary from the other folks. That's that that's out the here. cool thing about going live in a in a bar on a Friday night, right? That's right. Is the fact that um, and you know the funny thing we were we were talking uh, to uh, Mike and uh, Wally Wally about again you talked about cigar bars in Reno earlier. Right. Yeah. Um, this I think is probably the only place in Reno where the Hard Water House is where we are. Yes. And uh, it's probably the only place in Reno where you can come in, smoke a cigar, get a cocktail and have dinner or and have dinner have a cocktail and smoke your cigar you could do all of it right all, here all at the they, hard water house all they need is jazz but um, um it do, it's not really a jazz it's not a jazz here. club there's big screens all over the place yeah it's We've more got, of a sporty uh, place the uh, indiana michigan state game happening uh here and here. Yeah, yeah. We've got uh, some type of golf happening over here. We've got the homie over here. High fives. High fives. He, he's right the commentator. He's the commentator. He was, he was making the commentator. <laughs> but the, real, the reality is, is it is a very unique place. And I don't know how they get around the law of not smoking in the restaurant where there's food. But, and, and I got to say that I was over on the other side where the restaurant is and very little notice of the cigar smoke, which yeah. is very, very good. Can't so smell it. Maybe there's a rule. That says if you have enough ventilation, you can have a restaurant. Or, I doubt it. Yeah, or or Dennis is just uh, he's just saying screw it. Anyways, Dennis, I think you got a franchise idea here. Dennis, we uh, love it. We I'm love Jave. it. He's Andy, by the way. Oh, um, in case you forgot. Yeah. From eight uh, minutes ago. So listen, we're here in the second third. I'm maybe a little bit beyond the second third. This cigar is developing beautifully right now. It has everything that you would expect from a nice Cuban cigar. And when I say that, what I'm talking about is that real earthy leather, warm, um, almost vanilla-ish taste. It, a lot of times when you're smoking uh, Dominican Republic or, I mean, I've had some Brazilians that are incredibly weak. Uh -huh. Some of the Nicaraguan tobacco has a bit of those nuances, but there's just nothing like that Cuban soil to give you that nice, warm, all, like I said, almost vanilla -y flavor. Well, and I'm almost the getting the pepper back into this. You there's talk little, about pepper? A little bit of pepper, and I want, it's, it's, it's kind of a it's not a dark hot pepper, so I would almost say like a like a lighter white pepper of a. Uh, um, it's. I, I don't know. I think it might be the red peppercorn. It might be red pepper. Take your pick of the color. You know, I, I buy the multicolored pepper corns for my grinder, and I don't know. As far as integrity is concerned, no sponginess at all right now on this cigar. Nope. There's Still burning clean. There's a bit of give. There's no heat whatsoever oh. in this cigar right now. At the mine's second, getting, mine's getting soft here as it, of course, well, you it's know, in get front softer of, in, where it's in warm, front of right? the, yeah, uh huh. But uh, but down at the bottom, there's there's not a lot of heat. It's not burning really really hot. Um, I can see why this cigar was uh, rated in the top 25. I believe this one came in four or five, and a lot of people will overlook. Um, the Romeo and Julieta Bellicoso um, out of Cuba for the Churchill or for the oh. Robusto or okay. any of the other Romeo and Julieta line, which tend to be a little bit more popular. Um, right. But the way that the CA guys were saying, this cigar in their taste test blew all of them, all the other ones out of the water. You know what I like about it is, is you know, I'm, I'm again, being a, being a fan of the more mild cigar, um, it, it, it doesn't overpower. I don't want to. I don't want to throw it away halfway through the cigar. I want to keep smoking this. Yeah. I want to keep. I want to keep enjoying it, and that's uh, that's a good thing. The nicotine head rush, um, getting a little bit of that right now, but not again overpoweringly. So, uh, the burn, not necessarily razor sharp, but it's making self corrections right now. So, this is the second third of the Romeo y Julieta, Bellicoso, and we'll come back with the third third in just a few minutes. We'll be back. And we're back. And he's back. I mean, <laughs> we're back. We're back. Uh, so we're here at the third third. By the way, I need to uh, throw mad props off to uh, Heather over here. Heather's very bashful. She's very shy. Can you see Heather over, over there? She's right there. She's well, right there. you just see a black blob. She's got just her black back to us. Hey, Heather. There we go. Right there. That's her. So she says hi. Okay. <laughs> she, she did not want to be on camera, but she... Heather, Heather's not comfortable on camera. Right. I teed um, it up. And but we truly appreciate <laughs> we appreciate her service and, and attention to us. 
and <laughs> so we got to give Heather That's props right. and a shout out to to her to doing a great job for us tonight. Because she just brought us uh, more booze. The Rye Flight. That's right. The Rye Flight includes the Sazerac Rye. You turned me on to Sazerac a long time ago. Well, I Sazerac think. has a cocktail. Yeah. Um, if you've not had a Sazerac as a cocktail, it's a great cocktail. Classic old school cocktail. Um, you mix some other stuff in there. It's kind of like a Manhattan. Um, yeah. Similar. Of course, um, real whiskey glasses, which is kind of cool to funnel the, the aroma up to the nose. What are you smelling there, Dave? Whiskey. <laughs> it smells you, like booze. No, that's nice. Well, you get that pepper that uh, you get with a Sazerac. Should, should complement the pepperiness on the uh, third third of the cigar here pretty nicely. I, I, got, a, I got a really interesting, uh, we're, we're turning into a booze review now, but um, interesting kind of a, <clears throat> a cherry flavor. When I, when I pulled that in, okay. there was a fruitiness to this. And then that pepper came in through the end. Now we'll throw some of the hot pepper there. And again, this cigar in the third third is not melting. It nope. still has relatively good consistency. Um, and it's not incredibly hot to the palate. I've also noticed now you've got those friends of yours that smoke cigars and they're chewers, right? <laughs> and at the end of the cigar, it's all chewed up like a nub. That disgusts me. Um, but this cigar, just tasting the end of it, has got a nice sweet grassy flavor to it. It does. It's a sweet grass. It's not like a. Uh, it's not like an old lawn shavings or an old hay. Right. It's well, and sweet. you know the when you talk about like chewing the end of the cigar, I don't get it because I can't have this thing all up in my grill uh, with keeping the cigar in my mouth. Yeah. I I like to have it out here away, enjoy that smoke when I draw on it, but then get away again so That's true. anyway um yeah construction wise mine is holding up well as well which which kind of speaks to maybe the consistency of the brand right so like you said early oftentimes one will explode on us and one will be fantastic yes um so that consistency portion of it comes comes right through and you can see um i i have to admit i did have to light this i sat it down for about 30 seconds and it went out on me um but sometimes that's to be expected. Andy just ashed all over himself because he likes a nice ash in his lap. I well, it went on the chair, but I'm sure they're used to it here. <laughs> We've got the uh, bullet rye over here, the redemption rye, and Angel's Envy rye. And I am a huge fan of Angel's Envy. A Andy was just saying I did not know Angel's Envy made a rye. I didn't know that, and, no, and I like the Angel's Envy whiskey. Now the the thing about Angel's Envy, they infuse something into it, cherry or. They make the Angel's Envy in um, in brandy casks. In brandy it's casks. aged in like brandy or cognac Okay, casks. so it gives it that unique flavor. Yeah. I wonder, um, here's the Angel's Envy. I wonder if they do the rye the same way. It kind of smells that. You can smell that cherryness on it? Mm, yeah, much a, a much very different, much very different. That's a double, I were good at English. <laughs> Mr. English over here. I were, I were good at English. Yeah, I'll um, try the Angel's Envy while you're talking about it. It yeah. has that same note, but the same kind of dryness that the that the rye brings to the whiskey. So um, normally with a flight, I would drink all of them. But since we're in the third third, we're coming up on the end here of our of our review. I want to kind of give a little kind of a comparison at the third third. When a cigar is usually the biggest, right? This is when you're going to get most out of this because it's burned down. And how does that really compare or, or go I like with? to call it the sweet spot. And so far, I've had the Sazerac, the Bullet Rye, and the Angel's Envy. And the sweetness on the Angel's Envy lends itself incredibly well to this cigar. I think the does. Angel's Envy, so far out of all these, has been my favorite. I'm going to so try the Redemption Rye here. I'm going to, you've, you've done Bullet, I'm going to try the Redemption. Interesting to smell the difference between all four of these, which, of course, is why you do a flight. Yes. You know, um, well, somebody's, somebody's applauding and we're not even done. I, I hear clapping and we're not even done with our review yet. We have fans. What can I say, Andy? You know, <laughs> I like the redemption too. I mean, uh, so to me, I'm, what I'm learning here today is that rye is a great whiskey to go with a cigar if you've not had it before. Um, a, again, a little sweetness to it. I don't think in other than a Manhattan that you've made for me, or maybe an old-fashioned, I've ever 
I haven't been exposed to a lot of rye, to be honest with you. But it's a very nice compliment with the pepperiness of the cigar here. It is. Um, because I let this ash all over me, it's got a little run going in it here. Um, but I think that's okay. Could be all the hot air coming out of your mouth, too. <laughs> that's common. <laughs> <laughs> Dynamite smoke from the uh, Romeo and Julieta factory in Havana, Cuba. Now, wait. I got a, Wouldn't that be Romeo? Romeo y Julieta? No, it's Ro Romeo y Julieta. Romeo y Julieta. Anyway, <laughs> it's the third third. It's a good cigar. Hardwater House here in Reno, a dynamite place if you're local yeah. or you happen to be in the area, you're looking for a great place to come smoke a cigar, come check hang it out. out. And game. And game. There's some, yeah. uh, there's some slot machines in the bar, as you would expect in most bars in Reno. And, um, you know, I got to say, uh, Impressed. This is my first night being here. Jay and I were talking earlier. I've been here at the Hardwater House for lunch on a Saturday, right. and it's relatively empty. Yeah. Uh, the occasional guy over here smoking a cigar, and, and but it's 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 so far a very cool place. Thank you, Dennis, for allowing us to come in today and uh, film on a Friday night. I was really tentative about this and concerned about it, but it seems to be working just fine. Until next time. It's two dudes reviews. <laughs>